episode 71, and we finally have our other craft Varrican. It's about time. I'm sorry. Todd Bryant. I've got to catch up in a big way. you got a lot of episodes to do, my friend. You've got a lot of episodes. So I went and got the stuff for today's. I, I appreciate that. And I actually have never heard of this uh, particular brewery, Schwartz Brewing Company. And the beer, which is kind of interesting, is called Controversa L. That's right. And my, I, I'm from St. Louis, and I'm going to just address the elephant in the room right now. Some of my friends are probably clicking the off switch right now because St. Louis boy wearing a, card, or a Cubs jersey, sorry. It's it's paining me to see, but you know I let you borrow that mini pearl. I am I am borrowing this <laughs> mini pearl. That's mini right. pearl tags are still on it, but uh, yeah. So in your best mini you pearl, guys. say go Cubs. Go Cubs! Howdy! That's pretty good. That and you, really in which jersey are which jersey are you wearing? This is. Um, Do you remember? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's not game. What? That's that's pretty bold to say. So, and you're just kind of a <laughs> fair I'm weather a guy. I, just I'm a bandwagon. I jumped on the bandwagon. I'm from St. Louis, grew up 82 World Series, huge moment as in my childhood. Still have the Cardinal shirt with all this, I mean, it's mass produced, but all the signatures. You didn't need to say that. You could have left that part yeah, out. I, it was an amazing time as a young Cardinals fan. Um, and then, you know, through the, but, but I'm not a huge sports guy. I, I get into it just more to, you know, show support and whatnot. And, Congrats to the Cubs, and I am happy, legitimately happy yeah. for their fans. This was a long time coming and well-deserved. Yeah, you know, I've, I've been a fan since probably about the, the late 1980s. Uh, we had Sean Dunstan, Maddox. We had some amazing, uh, uh, we just had some amazing players. Richard Dawson. Uh, yeah, we have the Hawk, man. And my, my guy, Ryan Sandberg. That was my guy. Ryan Sandberg was Rhino. my guy. Rhino. Uh, I got to tell you the story, and I've told a couple of people, but, you know, uh, my parents were divorced. I was young and uh, kind of different. I know that's hard for you guys to understand Wait, what? and believe. Yeah, I was different, a little bit different. <laughs> we had a garage sale, and I always had my parents were very. They instilled in me the, the importance of buying your own things. I wanted to buy a TV. So back then, um, and you're too young for, to realize this, but Todd, you know. Um, I'm the same age as you. <laughs> we had black and white TVs. Oh yeah. So I went to Walmart, saved up fifty dollars to buy a black I and white TV. Probably three channels. There was probably three channels. However, over the air, you had certain channels. You had TBS and WGN. Oh nice. So you were either going to be a Atlanta Braves, Braves fan, fan or a Chicago Cubs there fan. There you go. I turned the TV in. I actually turned the knob. No remote. And the Cubs were playing, and I saw the very first thing I saw was Ryan Samber making this amazing play at second base, and I was hooked. So since then, uh, the Cubs have been a huge um, part of my life, and they've always been there. It's, it's just like that rooting for the underdog kind of thing. Mm -hmm. When you're a little different, or you're geeky, or you're nerdy, you know how that feels like to be the underdog. So now that the Cubs are the prom queen, so to speak, yeah. will they lose their appeal? I mean, I know not for you, but I no, mean, I, I think it's going to grow. In fact, I read online that actually the merchandise expect to go just this, like within the next week or two, seventy-five million dollars. Wow! Well, there were five Se million people at the parade today. Uh, it's insane. Um, it's just people uh, people root for the underdog. How will Springfield capitalize on this uh, on this moment? Oh, I'm sure they're taxing that. <laughs> <laughs> they're probably got someone down there making sure that they're getting <laughs> they're getting everything. So, anyways, so. We have had lots of controversy as Cubs fans going way back. I mean, actually all of baseball has had kind of controversy. Sure. So uh, we're going to try this Schwartz Brew Controversa L. Now, I've never had this. Have any of you guys? I've never had it. Right. I have not. So let's bust this open. Here you go. Thanks, sir. Let's try to do a drink at the well, same time. We have a bottle opener for this one. I know, right? Here, I'll switch in. All right. Uh, this is from uh, Schwartz Brewing Company out of northern Michigan. Uh, and uh, Todd, you brought this in today. Yep. Just happen to find it. All right, let's give it a shot. Hoppy, very hoppy. You know, it's uh, smooth. It doesn't have a very hoppy finish. It's pretty consistent, actually, for hop. It's not bad. I like it. It's I'm not a huge ale hoppy guy, but I don't. I, it is hoppy, but it's not overwhelming to where I wouldn't finish the bottle. It's actually, a, I think they did, a, it's a good, good hops. It's not bad. It's a really light, light hops. 
Uh, it's not overly bitter, and the finish is, it's really subdued. It's actually not bad. I think if someone was just starting to drink uh, uh, if a they beer were, like this, this would be a good one to start on. I actually agree. I think that if, they're, if they were going to try to get something with hops in it, this is not a bad one. Um, a know. starter ale? I, I think it's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. So, you know, we love to name the beers after people. Yes. And uh, there's only one main controversial person. Well, you've got, the, you've got the goat. You've uh -huh. got the black cat that went in front of Ron Santo. True. You've got Harry Carey mispronouncing everybody's name. That's because he was drunk. Well, okay. He was Kraft probably the American. Craft American. Craft American spelled backwards is freaking fucking. But you know what? I think this is only deserving, and I think this hopefully breaks the curse. Obviously, we broke it. Uh, I think this goes to Steve Bartman. I think Steve Bartman, if you were, and I know you're watching because I know you're a big Craft American fan, uh, I think you would be Schwartz Brew Controversa L. And you know what? Come back home. Come back to Chicago. You should have gone to the parade today. Yeah, he should have. I also read that uh, he didn't want to do that because he didn't want to be a distraction from the world's greatest team, the Chicago Cubs. So, let's finish this up. So, with our rating, we've got three ratings. We've got piss in the bottle, we love it, or we're going to use it as a message in a bottle and uh, send it out somewhere. You're up. You know what? I'm, I'm going to break my norm, and I would drink this ale again because I don't, it, it's not overly hoppy. So I, I would drink it again. Okay. I agree with Kevin. I mean, it's one, uh, a lot of the ales you can't drink, sit and drink three or four, it's too much. I like it. Okay. I could drink it again. I think this is definitely one of those ales. I'm going to say I would drink it again too because you can drink it probably more than just one or two of these. So there you have it. Craft Beerkins, we give it, uh, every, all three of us give it a drink. So, um, Shorts Brewing Company, send us more beer. Go Cubs, go. Go Cubs, go. You know my favorite controversial? What? Prince. His album, Controversial. Ah, uh, there you go. Gonna bust out a song. Same for us. Karaoke. Purple rain, purple rain. On that note, see you guys. Make sure you follow us online at uh, on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. He wore a raspberry beret. <laughs> Was it the kind you wear at a secondhand <laughs> store? The Craft Barricans, doing their part to make America better, one craft beer at a time.